everybody, it's Ross, and I'm just glad to be with you today, and I'm excited about today's show. Today's show is all about avocados. You know, people say, well, I've had avocado before, I've had guacamole before, all those things, and people, for the most part, they shy away from making their own avocado dip. And I used to do that. I used to not even mess with avocados back in the day. But avocados are a great source of nutrition and a great source of good fat. That's right, good fat is good for you, not the old kind of fat or the man-made kind of fat. So today's show is about avocado dip. I don't call it guacamole. I, I'm reminded about guacamole being that gooey green stuff that everybody remembers getting that. This is gourmet avocado dip you can make for yourself as a snack in between meals or for your friends and family. So, shall we? Let's make some avocado dip. This is what I like to do to start with. Of course, you've got to start with a ripe avocado. And don't be afraid of cutting the avocados. You cut it in half, you've probably seen that done before, but it needs to be a ripe avocado and you can take your seed out. Be careful, always have a sharp knife, but make sure you have a, a sharp knife. That's a great part of your kitchen experience. And then what I do is scoop the ripe avocado. You don't want one that's not ripe. Oh, I have to just take a little bit of that. Mmm, that's a delicious part. And this avocado has been sitting in my refrigerator for a couple days, and I'm gonna chop it. Look how beautiful the colors are. I mean, how good is that? Is it taking a lot of trouble? No, just be careful. Put the avocado in the bowl. Mmm, look at that. What else do you need in avocado dip? Well, I use this extra virgin olive oil. Make sure you buy the best olive oil you can possibly buy, and you just want to drizzle it. Not too much, just a little bit to give it a, a creamy, savory texture. And I chopped up earlier some red onions. Staple in my house, red onions. I have red onions all the time. Red onions should be a staple, whether it's food, uh, like soup, or uh, any kind of uh, stir-fry product. Red onions, you're gonna go through a lot of red onions. I like them better than white onions. They're a little bit more milder. So I'm gonna put some red onions on my avocado. I mean, how delicious does that look? I mean, my mouth is watering already. Lemon juice. Fresh lemon, not that bottle stuff. Forget about that lemon juice that's in the bottle. Why not? I mean, what's the big deal about buying fresh lemons? There's, oh, squeeze it. And most people don't get this, but I like both lemon and lime. Say it with me, lemon and lime. That way you remember it. I squeeze some lime. Another staple, I always have it in my kitchen, garlic. Fresh chopped garlic. If you're in a hurry and can't chop it yourself, the stores have it already peeled in a container, so all you have to do is chop it. You don't have to actually peel it from the clove. And that's what I do many of the, many of the time. So put a little bit of garlic. You can put as much as you want or as little as you want, but I like garlic. Let's see, I've got onions, garlic, got uh, the uh, salt, salt and pepper. Look how that's shaping up. Pepper. Got to have black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper in my avocado dip. This is great texture. This is great flavor. You can leave the jalapeno peppers out. Now, I'm a person that likes a little tang, and I like a little spice in my avocado dip, but I'm going to use just a pinch, not very much. Make sure you chop off your, your chunks real, real small so you don't get a big chunk of jalapeno in your mouth. So I'm going to put a lot, uh, just a little bit, not a lot, of jalapeno peppers. Now, here is the key. What's the green stuff on Ross's chopping board, you might ask? It's cilantro. Yes, it's fresh. Don't be afraid of fresh herbs. What I've done is bought the fresh cilantro from the store. I've washed it in the sink in cold, cold, cold water. It perks it up, makes it all snappy. And yeah, you're wondering what this is? Go ahead and invest in one. Invest in a salad spinner. You've been putting it off because it's like 30 bucks, maybe even a little bit more, and you'll say, I'll never use a salad spinner. Hey, what are you using to wash your lettuce? And you wanna make sure your lettuce and your cilantro and all the other things like kale and collard greens are dry. I actually have a lot of fun with it. I just like salad spinner. So invest in a salad spinner, put your cilantro in 
the spinner, make sure it's dried out real well. Now, oops, be careful, I say, with the knife because you gotta have a sharp knife, but you wanna make sure you watch what you're doing. In fresh cilantro, I believe, is a must. Avocado dip without cilantro is not avocado dip. So make sure you take a little extra time to make sure it's fresh, clean, dried. It will make the ultimate difference in avocado dip. If I can do it, you can do it. So here's the avocado with the cilantro. Look at that. That is gourmet avocado dip. And last, well, one of the last ingredients, but not least, I chopped up some ripe tomatoes. You can leave this out if you want to. I like the tomato background of the avocado dip. You don't have to use all. Some of the tomato juice will be in there. It adds another layer. I always say, in cooking, build layers. Build the dish as you like. Whatever you like, put it in there. Don't worry about what everybody else likes because most likely what you like is what other people like. And my last ingredients is this Veginase. Man, I love Veginase. I used to, in the old days, eat mayonnaise. I gave up mayonnaise. I had to give up mayonnaise. I was overweight, out of shape, 222 pounds. Veginase is a great alternative to mayonnaise. You won't know the difference, and it gives you all the body and all the texture that mayonnaise does. So here we go. Look at the avocado dip. Is that gourmet? Or is it gourmet? Did it take long to make? No. Did it take a little preparation and thought? Sure it does. Just like anything else in life, you got to think about it. You got to commit to it. You got to concentrate about it. But other than that, it's no trouble. And then you can make it as chunky and as creamy as you want. Look of this. How delicious is that? Well, I'm gonna find out how delicious it, it is. Where is my blue chips? My sesame blue chips. You can use anything. You, whole wheat bread toasted in the toaster. You can use any type of whole wheat, 100% whole wheat. When you're going whole wheat, make sure it's 100%. Much better for you than all that white product. I used to eat a lot of white products. But I like these sesame blue chips. No salt added, no sodium added. They're so good, they're so tasty and crispy, and most of all, they're good for you. So you can have food that's delicious, that looks good, that doesn't take very long to prepare, but most of all, it's good for your body. Your body will thank you. You'll lose weight. You'll be much more energized and refreshed when you're eating this type of food. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, man. Mm. My, my, my. How good is that? You think your friends will like this avocado? Homemade avocado dip. It takes less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I'm going to have another chip. Mm. I hope this helps you. I want to encourage you to buy fresh, to cook fresh, to eat fresh because your body really wants it most of all. So until next time, hope to see you down the road. Maybe it's my kitchen, maybe it's somewhere else. Till then, bon appetit.